So if you see this, this is the uh, percentages of games won against each other between Boyka and Sexy. You can see Boyka versus Sexy. Boyka has won 269 and Sexy has won 285. Um, overall, I know Sexy says, oh, some of them are for fun games and he hardly ever tries in those games. Uh, but I beg to differ. I think, uh, when you've, when you want to prove yourself, you uh, should be trying hundred percent, but you can see the win percentage between him is 49% to Boyka, sorry, but 51% to Sexy, won't it? So, uh, super closely matched. So they're going to agree a matchup between the matchups that I just said. I need to put a scoreboard. That's what I will do in the meantime. Well, I want to see some predictions of scores in the chat because I don't think I've seen any yet. I saw a few people say sexy, but they hope Boyka wins. A few people's heart, they won uh, Boyka to win, and a few people's heads say that Sexy is going to win. Okay, so they're doing USA GLA, and we're going to kick off. I'm going to put the scoreboard on, so the scoreboard is now at the top. This has got 0 0, Booting is his first one, USA GLA on Tournament Desert. I've got my beer ready. <clears throat> Okay, so we are into the first game, six minutes past seven, so uh, very well timed this one. Both players showed up, and I showed up on time, so uh, everything is running smoothly. We've got Sexy in the north on Tournament Desert. He is in the USA pink color, and in the south, we've got Boyka in the red as the GLA. He is making a fast barracks and a um, supply, as you typically would. Um, Sexy's dozer is still finishing off the power and building a... Uh, Supply near his uh, main, choosing not to box it in like I would usually try to box the dozer in the back. Maybe he's going to do like a triangle and try and box it in that way. Tunnel is going to be constructed by Boyka's main supply. And on the right side, Boyka is building his second supply, all completely standard. Now it looks like, is that a fake arms dealer or a real one? I'm not 100% sure. I think he can afford a real one depending on how many terrorists he's produced. If he's produced four, then he might have to produce... Um, a fake or he's going to have to skip some workers here. Uh, Boyka is not doing any aggressive tunnels though. This was the right place to do the far back one though because the dozer is coming over there. Maybe over here would have been a good idea to get an aggressive uh, tunnel forward. Generally you want to be aggressive as possible with um, USA. I see some score predictions in the chat now. We've got 4-3 from the GOAT to Boyka. We've got 4-1 from Toby Wan Kenobi to Sexy. Karim 4-1 to Sexy. Uh, I did see Daniel's prediction somewhere. 4-2 to Sexy. I think everyone's picking Sexy, actually. But I know a few people in the chat were rooting for Boyka, so let's see uh, what happens. Dozer is going down. Well played by Boyka so far. Everything's going smoothly. All tunnels are constructed. And then uh, behind this, we've got um, War Factory Barracks complete now for Sexy. Uh, first V is out. Uh, sorry, second V is out. And uh, technical is out with probably RPGs. Drop them off now and smash into the... Uh, uh, smash the RPGs into the, uh, into the into the V. Get some damage off. Now causing some damage to the Chinooks. And the V is coming back in for more. But if it just takes like one more hit, it's going to go down to about 50% HP. So he doesn't really want to do that. Two terrorists are going to hit the power. So uh, Boyka is being super aggressive and super quick at the moment. Technical is going to come in and try and hit the missile defenders. Going to run over one of them. Uh, going to miss the other two though. So not a super perfect micro there from Boyka. One more missile defender will go down. But the Vs are going to come in now and uh, clear up the rest of the RPGs. Diamond is saying 4-2 to Sexy. Dante is... Uh, Farrier is saying 4-2 to Sexy. Lost Hero, aka Jeremy, is saying 4-3 to Boyka. CNC Pro Killer is saying 4-2 to Sexy, and Fishbug is saying 4-2 to Sexy. A lot of people picking Sexy in this matchup, so let's see uh, Let's see who's going to win then. <coughs> 160 viewers. Two missile defenders going down. Uh, technicals are coming in now, and a lot of damage being caused to that V. Another one being uh, dealt heavy damage to as well, but 
quite a lot of the Vs are still alive for a second. I don't think any of the Vs have gone down, actually. A few took heavy damage there. We've got a tunnel going up on the right-hand side uh, and on the left-hand side. Demo trap as well. This is looking pretty flawless from Boyka so far, apart from that technical that ran over the missile defenders here. He only hit one with a bit of micro. He could have hit all three, and that might have been uh, not a game-changing moment, but it can uh, impact like the, in the mid to late game. Sexy now has a hell of a lot of Vs, though, and I think he has some ranges to do a combat drop. He might be able to pick off the ranges before they go inside, though. Um, actually, he picked off most of them. He's picked off... Sorry, he's picked off both the ranges, but one of the missile defenders inside has been cleared out. Sorry, one of the RPGs. Technical now coming in, and is going to be uh, met by a V. I think he's going to get the Terror Tech, though. One terrorist is taking heavy damage, though, and unfortunately, he just misses it. I think the speed of this game looks really, really good. Another sack RPG on this left side causing damage to the Chinook. Even though he hasn't killed it, though, it will still slow down the collection because it is low, low, uh, very low. Loads of technicals coming in from the right-hand side now, and Boyka is looking pretty speedy. But um, Sexy's defense is looking uh, rock solid too, so let's see what's going to happen. The technicals are going to squidge down this uh, little kind of entrapment. Loads of technicals are taking damage, but loads of missile defenders and a V. Two Vs are going down, so this is very well played by Boyka so far. Apart from that uh, terror attack that didn't um, that didn't successfully detonate, everything has gone pretty much his way so far. Uh, Sexy has opted to go for search and destroy fairly quickly, actually. I had to have it ready at like the 4 minutes, 30 or 5 minutes mark is pretty, uh, pretty, pretty quick. Uh, Dawson Lipman says 4-3 to Sexy. Yeah, it's seven games. Uh, Pro Killer, it's seven. Best of seven. Read the title, dude. <laughs> um, one Chinook is going to be picked off now, and another V is going to probably go down. And the, te the technical has gone down, but the RPGs are doing significant damage to the Chinook. I would get the last few hits off on that Chinook, though, because it's almost going to go down. I don't know what the, the RPGs are doing, but uh, Boyka is now expanding to a middle supply. Another technical coming in, but I think that's going to be stopped. Yeah, going to be stopped, unfortunately. That's a waste of uh, how much testing my mass? 1,400? Technicals coming in now. Um, these Chinooks have been forced off. Boyka is looking pretty solid. Only four workers collecting there. Five workers collecting there. Was six, but he's planning to build something. He's now established on a third supply. Uh, this tunnel needs cancelling because I don't think he's going to get built anytime soon. Boyka's uh, got 1100 Sexy's on $400. Something went down there. Not 100% sure what it is. The uh, technicals still have RPGs inside of it. And the Vs are going to be chased off. Because they do have the search and destroy and the tow missile upgrade, they're going to be a lot harder to kill. Only one dozer left for Sexy, I think. Yeah, it's only been one since the very beginning when that dozer went down. Uh, Crusader with a Hellfire on the right-hand side. And... Vs here on the left are pushing forward, though. But there is a demo trap there, so if they... Walk into that demo trap. Oh, he knows. Seems to know. I wonder if he's got the stream open and he's listening. There is like a 30 seconds or one minute delay. Technicals on the right side pick off the Crusader. And the Vs on the left are pushing forward. There is another tunnel to clear out though. And Boyka behind that is getting the oil. I think he's going to be able to get that. But more importantly, the technicals on the right hand side. Now going to have to go back. And is he going to think about defending this? Um, this is pretty strong. Even though there's only three Vs and one Ambo there. The, one of them is Vet 2. And everything is getting cleared out for uh, Boyka at the moment. Despite Boyka's pretty nice aggression. Maybe it just wasn't flawless enough. There was a, maybe like one or two things he could have done a little bit better. But at the moment, Sexy's uh, doing pretty, pretty well. Tentacles are all going to come through straight to the strategy center. And I think he's going to try and get the dozer. Um, some RPGs have dropped off. And the tentacles are going to cause severe damage to these Vs. Again, the wraparound on the Vs, actually, and a lot of them are taking damage. One of them has gone down, but the technicals are taking heavy damage as well. And somehow the missiles were trying to fire through the barracks. Uh, another V going down. So that's quite a nice pickoff still, but there's still three pretty powerful Vs here. And they're, they're both Vet 2 there as well. So they're going to self-heal and be harder to kill for Boyker. I'd like to see Boyker on a second... Um, maybe a second arms dealer. But he has got a palace out now. So maybe once he gets some buggies out, just takes a little bit longer to get the buggies out. That's all. Whereas the arms dealer, the second arms dealer produces much faster. You often see like players like Rage, they'll go two arms dealers. Another Shinuke being picked off there. Yeah, players like Rage will often go two arms dealers and just a mass load of technicals and then but go a palace behind it. But players like Boyka tend to do a palace first. 
I'd like to see his Jarman produced because that's going to help thin the numbers of these uh, Vs. Uh, but this little army here is going to prove a little bit difficult as a first um, buggy out now. We've got some RPGs and never tunnel constructed. This palace will be hard to break through, but I think Sexy can probably approach from here. In the meantime, though, uh, Terror Attack has killed the Dozer and the Strategy Center, so all that Boyka has to do now is hold on. In this kind of situation, it really tests what kind of player you are, whether you just panic and just um, throw down loads of tunnels or whether you... Um, it, it, based on how you handle this and if you can cleverly pick off these without wasting too much now, really says a lot about a player in my opinion. Engaging at the front there, I don't know if that was the best thing to do. I tend to want to try and defend this and your base more. Because he's going to kill his second supply now. Uh, but the Vs are pushing forward through the center. And Tessexi is only on one supply now. But it should be enough really to kind of keep pumping out Vs and... Um, Vs and technicals. Sorry, Vs and uh, missile defenders. The first uh, V has been taken out and Sexy is not paying attention here. There's only one V left now and it's taking heavy damage from the, the tunnel. So now Sexy is actually in quite a bad situation. He really needs to cause some damage fast. Boyka throwing down a load of tunnels. And Boyka is holding his nerve pretty well so far. If you can just get enough buggies out, then there's no way really Sexy can win. Pathfinders are now out. Boyka's on 2,500-ish. Sexy's on zero, spending every single penny. Uh, supply over there is almost mined out, but he does have control of the center now, so he can uh, long distance control, long distance mine from the middle. Uh, so this is pretty. Uh, I still don't know which way this is going to go, but just based on how long this is taking Sexy to move out, it's probably going to be a, f a case of um, too many buggies getting out for uh, for Boyka and then Sexy not really being able to uh, compete with those. So we've got about, uh, how many? Seven. Is that seven? No, it's not seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. And an ambulance. Six Vs and an ambulance now pushing forward. Boyker is trying to make a uh, supply here. I don't know whether that's the best thing to do. I think he needs to pour all his money into making buggies and units. I'm not sure if a bus was the right thing to do, but he's going to probably try and go into the main base and try and base trade. I imagine that's what he's trying to do. But I would try and pick off these um, these Vs. These buggies have to be extremely careful. Every one of them he loses, and he's just lost two for absolutely nothing. Uh, he should be kind of using the terrain because he's got loads of flat terrain here. He needs to just have them here, just kind of picking off the Vs at range without kind of um, losing anything. The buggies are going to go in now with this battle bus, but just the missile defenders alone are going to be enough to try and defend against this. The uh, power is being captured for Sexy. And this does have a uh, Jarman inside of it, though. So you're going to pick off these uh, infantry units very, very slowly but surely. Power is being captured, but I think Sexy's going to be able to defend that. Oh, actually, Boyka's going to get power. It looks like he's going to have to sell it. Unfortunate, because he was going to save that, but now he's had to sell it. But now there are still four buggies out. No um, black market, though, so there's no ammo upgrade. But one buggy, sorry, one V is going to get picked off. The ambulance is extremely low and he's got a drone built on it. So I don't think he can build. Ooh, what the hell? Was that a fake? The, uh, some explosion there killed the ambulance. And another V has been picked off. I think there might be too many buggies out now. And unless, uh, Boyka continues to make mistakes like he did a second ago, I think then, um... Sexy's just going to slowly be starved out of it because, uh... Well, not starved out of it. He's got plenty of cash, but his uh, units will just be slowly picked off by the buggies. Bit of a weird scenario that you often don't see. One supply versus one supply. Boyker is now going to make a black market. I'd like to see a Jarman out, but I think... Has he got the bus in there? I think he's got the bus, unless the bus got picked off without me seeing. Slowly's going to... Sorry, what well, mind about slowly. Se sexy is going to slowly make more and more Vs though because he does although he doesn't have the power he can still produce um, he can still produce Vs I think he's sp either spent all his money or he's lacking money actually I think he's probably spent all his money loads of buggies out now there's five buggies out and the Vs are going to charge forward trying to hit the buggies what is Boyka doing just leaving them out you don't want to risk losing even one of them he's lost three buggies there for absolutely nothing you just want to do what damage you can and then go back that's all you want to do I feel he lost way too many buggies there, and if he keeps doing that, then he's going to lose. There's no no doubt about it. But we got a bit a bit of a weird scenario still. <laughs> so we got 
three, six Vs, seven, eight, nine Vs. Sexy's now going back. He's got to be careful of a terror attack. Well, I mean, we know that Boyka doesn't really have any map control at all apart from this bunker here. But, of course, Sexy has got to be careful of a uh, terror attack uh, back in his base, which he, he is looking for at the moment. So he's a little bit hesitant in what he's doing. But the more time that Boyka gets, it does the bounty upgrade as well. So he has placed the command center down and then, uh, and then canceled it. So the bus is just going to roam around. Boyk is going to try and get inside of this. That's going to go down very quick. It's going to provide him a bit of a scout, really. Um, what's he going to see? He's going to see the three buildings and the Chinook. Uh, plenty of Vs out now. I mean, how many have we got there? We've got four. Uh, 11. Is it 11 Vs there? I think it's 11. <clears throat> but he is preparing a terror attack. And if... I was sexy. I don't know how many pathfinders he's got spare, but you probably want to leave like one pathfinder like kind of here or somewhere here. Uh, the sexy is really afraid of a uh, tunnel going up down on the right hand side here. Well, you could just needs to be pouring everything into. He needs to get worker shoes most importantly. This last bit of cash, you can get an extra ten percent on top of it. That would be like three hundred and sixty dollars. Actually, it's not that much, is it? Because the worker shoes cost a thousand. Terror Tech is coming in now. And I think Sexy has spotted this, the way he's sending all of his Vs back. But Boyki just needs to be pouring all his money into buggies, really. But he doesn't have that much cash left. Uh, I would have got a buggy ammo upgrade. The V is going to go and try and defend this. But I don't think it's got any missile defenders inside of it. And Boyki is going to get a Terror Tech successfully off on the supply, uh, supply dock. And gets $200 for that kill. Sexy is now reduced down to three buildings, one of them being the 74% command center. That tunnel there is going to get stopped. Needs to cancel that and save his precious uh, precious $800. These ones here only have the Hellfire drones. If they walk over the Demo Trap there, actually Demo Traps is a, good, is a good one. You want to kind of hide them in the trees, and uh, especially that one, that's pretty good. Because if the ones with Hellfires walk over them, then that's going to be bad news for Sexy. So we've got plenty of Vs in the center now. This has turned out to be a really weird game. Who is your money on in this first game? I saw a lot of people picking Sexy outright, but um, at the moment, just based on Boyka's micro, the buggy so far, I'm going to still be saying Sexy's probably going to win because he kept throwing away them buggies. Now, if he's done it twice so far, then I think he's just probably going to do it again. And these buggies are all what's going to keep him in the game. I mean, that bus is going to going to be a lot too, but I don't know if the position of that black market is actually the best best position. But these, uh, oh, there's two Pathfinders in there. So I don't know why he didn't keep one at home. Uh, one Pathfinder is going to be left there, though, and if the buggies go over it, it is going to be ran over. Two Messile Defenders uh, picked off. Yo, uh, Mokless Ayash, if I said that right. Welcome, dude. Cheers for subscribing. Second Black Market is now built for Boyke. Yeah, I don't know if the position of that was the greatest because it blocks loads of the range of this palace now, but it is providing a good uh, <laughs> good little defense around the palace, I suppose. I mean, if there were support powers like A10 and stuff, it would provide it a little bit more defense. Avengers now being produced by Sexy. Two Avengers out so far. This is a really weird game. What do you think? <laughs> Daniel said he'd love to see Sexy's cash. He's got 2k, but to be honest, it's not that um, worthwhile Look at, looking at Sexy's cash. He's probably queued up a load of units, so you, his cash might actually be like 10k, but we have no idea. Boyke's on 1500. Uh, still plenty of buggies out for Boyke in the main base. But um, I'm really not sure about the uh, Avengers because they can slowly be picked off. But I mean, he does have pretty much unlimited cash. Well, to it to a certain extent because he he is able to collect freely from the center. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, eight buggies out now for Boyka. I'd like to see him make the upgrade if he has enough cash. Another block market going up. It looks like a fake the way that's building so quick. I 
Maybe another palace would be a good idea, I don't know. Yeah, maybe not, actually. Probably just more and more buggies. Buggies and quads. Oh yeah, maybe, maybe even just buggies, I don't know. Buggies and maybe two quads mixed in, something like that. But the upgrades will be useful as well. Another tunnel going up. Then if that's just a little bit out of position, you probably kind of want to use the line of defense. The bunker is going down on the left-hand side. Fast Air says if Boyko gets 5-star, then he will win 100%. Yeah, but will he have enough cash to place down the command center? And has he killed even remotely enough to get anywhere near 5-star? I know he's 3-star already because he's got the bounty, but does he have enough for... Um, for five star at the moment, I'm not 100%. So the game has gone a little bit like a game of chess. Sexy is kind of waiting until he has a load of Avengers out. He's now got seven Avengers. Buggies are going to pick off one of the dead buildings. Just to kind of clear the space a little bit more. But the buggies now are going to engage one of the uh, Avengers. But there's so many Avengers out now that the uh, the Vs are pretty well defended. I think that one there might be able to be picked off. Yeah, it's going to be picked off. And that's another $200 for Boyka because he's got the bounty upgrade. But the Vs are going to continue to push. The, the see what I mean about these buggies. They're, they're hanging around for a little bit too long. But luckily, uh, these, these units here are empty. But these buggies, this micro on the buggies has to be 100% now. So big engagement here. The palace is picking off the drones when he actually wants to be targeting the Vs. I feel like the Vs are thinning out a hell of a lot. Palace is now going down and everything has been evacuated. There is a bus and a Jarman out though somewhere. So I think this is going to go right down to the wire. Jarman is uh, having a field day shooting a load of units. Uh, the Vs are continuing to be picked off by the, um, by the buggies. And sad thing is that... Sexy is uh, not gaining any XP from this anyway because he's not got um, the support powers. So uh, Sexy's units are thinning out and thinning out. I've got a bomb truck in the mix from uh, Boyka. He has stealthed it and let's see if it's going to get in range. I'm not sure if it is. Sexy throws down the GG and the bomb truck is right there. Uh, but I think uh, Sexy was already on the disconnect menu. So really you well done by Boyka. Um, hangs in there. A dozer hunted him and picked off the last few buildings. Taken out his power by the capture. Um, but takes it to 1-0. Well played to Boyka. <clears throat> yeah, very well played. A little bit scrappy and a little bit... Um, not like um, a convincing win. It was kind of like down to the wire, but either way, he still gets the win. It starts with a 1-0. Boyka's USA is pretty good, so... Sexy's going to have to be on fire if he's going to uh, take Boyka down in the second game. There's the stats for you. But without further ado, we're going to jump into the next game. So have a date the score. I've got 1-0 for Boyka. His first to win four games is best of seven. <clears throat> Yo, uh, Fuad Lahoud, if I said that right. Cheers, man. I saw you comment before. Cheers. Thanks very much. Much appreciated. <clears throat> I feel that sexy loss because he hung around and his base too much. Going the Avengers was a bad idea, I think. Um, around the time when he lost the power, uh, give or take a few minutes either side, that's the time that he should have pushed, I think. <clears throat> Shouldn't have engaged the palace first. I would have um, gone round and attacked the uh, the arms dealer first. That, that kind of side of the base. Instead of uh, taking on the palace. Because with the palace and the buggies... But by that time, there was so many buggies out. It was um, very hard.
Yeah, there were plenty of Avengers out at one point. Seven, seven Avengers. But once you've got so many buggies out, it doesn't matter how many Avengers you've got. Even if you had 200 Avengers, there is always one that's going to be out of line a little bit. And you're going to be able to slowly pick them off. And they're so expensive. $2,000 each. Um, it is USA Gila in reverse. I don't know what they're talking about. <clears throat> so we've got an exact reverse of before. Boyker is now... Actually, he should be in the north. It's not an exact reverse, is it? Boyker in the south and the red as a USA. And in the north, we've got a sexy with GLA Vanilla. Making a fake barracks, it looks like. You can tell by the speed that it's building. Sexy always likes to build his barracks, from what I've seen, close to his command center. Like that, it gets two terrorists very quickly over to his main supply and then over to the supply. So any dozer drop from Boykir will be shut down pretty quick. Either shut down or denied, so... Let's see uh, what Boykir is going to bring to this matchup. I thought he played very well in that first game, actually. Uh, despite Sexy's, like, solid aggression... Um, sorry, solid defense. But he kept it the, the, uh, the aggression. I thought it was actually very, very, uh, very well done. So two supplies from Boyka. No surprise there. This dozer is going to go looking for a worker. We got a worker actually building a tunnel pretty far forward in the center, and a worker on the left hand side building a tunnel as well. Boyka is choosing to box in his dozer. It's got 1-0 for Boyka so far. Let's see if Sexy is going to equalize pressures on Sexy a little bit. Sexy building a tunnel there on the right-hand side. And actually, we've missed a big thing. Sexy is actually going for a no-arms dealer build. So he's making uh, loads of tunnels. And he's going for the capture upgrade. And for the oils. That'll be a really nice pick-off if he picks off that worker. Oh, just unlucky. That can, that's a game-changing moment there because now Sexy's going to be able to get this oil probably. And this V is going to go down as well, which is a $700 loss. So, uh, yeah, unlucky for Boyka there. The V is going to hang on a little bit, but I think it's just going to go down very, very fast. Might pick off one more RPG if he's lucky. Yeah, two RPGs going down there. Uh, Boyker, I think, now realizing, has actually picked off quite a few RPGs now. That's four RPGs gone down, which makes Sexy's defense a little bit harder to do. Um, the oil capture is coming in for Sexy, and a third supply is going down for Sexy. So Boyker now has to do something fast, because the enemy is going to have a massive economy boom in a second. He's going to have three supplies and probably two oils if he allows that. So what he probably could do is either you either want to push down one of the sides... You could push down the middle there. Actually, that's what I do. Just push straight down the middle, take out the barracks, try and take out the arms dealer. That's probably the best scenario. Or you can do a drop over it all. But Boyka's oil is going to be captured now. This is Sexy's very good at doing this build or very good at pulling it off. And lucky for Sexy, the um, oil was just denied in time for Boyka. And the flashbang are going to clear out the uh, the bunker. <laughs> Like to see a tow missile upgrade. Not enough missile defenders in here, I don't think, to engage this tunnel properly. He is going to take it out slowly, but there's loads of RPGs there as well. Flashbangs are going to cause a lot of damage to the infantry inside, but they're just going to go back inside and heal. One V is picked off. And there's loads of missile def Sorry, loads of RPGs, and they're going to kill another V. No, the V is going to hold on. So Sexy's... Uh, build order so far is holding up very very nicely the only thing that hasn't kind of gone his way is lost a couple of RPGs and didn't get the oil but I mean he's got his his own oil and a third supply and already making a palace so uh sexy's build order is a 100% success if you ask me or 90% success sexy thought about killing the oil there it's gone down to about 80% of the HP Oil is now going to go down. The flashbangs are going to kill a few of these RPGs, though. Bit of a mistake there from Sexy. 
Only one RPG going down is actually not too bad, but he is going to kill the uh, kill the oil. Boyka now needs to do something pretty drastically because the enemy is going to have a massive economy boom and be on the palace, and that's the last thing you want as a USA. So uh, he has got flashbangs, so he can clear this out. There's only one RPG inside of there as well. But there's loads of RPGs inside of here, so he's kind of got to be uh, really careful. The Vs are going to get through, though. One V is taking heavy damage, but it's just going to survive, actually. And the missile defenders are going to go inside of this uh, building. The fourth supply there from Sexy has been denied. Palace might be stopped, actually, because the Vs are going to charge straight through. Um, Barracks is going down, and Sexy needs to defend that Palace, but I don't think he's going to be able to. Palace is going to take heavy damage and going to need to be cancelled. So Sexy's in a real, real bad situation. The RPGs are all out, but the buggies are kind of just here in time, stopping the palace on 92%, and I'm not sure if he cancelled it or not. I wasn't checking the cash 100%. Uh, but the uh, tunnel here is going down, but Sexy is really good at like being a cockroach, as I would say. Uh, even though you've killed his palace, and even though you've charged straight through the center and killed his main base, he's really good at GLA, like kind of holding on, um, making little bases here and there, and holding on with tunnels and RPGs, so... Sexy's by no means out of it, but it's looking pretty grim for him so far. Boyka's doing a really good job with this uh, this V attack with the uh, ambulance. One technical going down, another technical going down. Uh, no uh, search and destroy behind this. <clears throat> but Sexy really needs to protect that arms dealer. And Boyka needs to engage these units before another V gets picked off. Uh, v is getting extremely low. That's bad micro there from Boyka. Boyka should have been 100% paying attention. Because that kind of army means everything. You want to be always concentrating there. Not, never concentrating at home. Because now he's lost a V. This means he might not be able to. If he had a third V, he probably could engage those RPGs there. But now, now that he doesn't. Going a little bit close to these tunnels. The, uh, the ambulance is going to go low. So this micro is not 100% from Boyko by any means. I've got loads more Vs in the center now. Engaging these tunnels. Another V pig being picked off there. Yeah, this micro from the Vs is not impressive at all. Another two tunnels are being cleared, though. I think that's what he's concentrating on. He's concentrating on building back at home. He has got a third Chinook, though. I'm not sure exactly why, but all the Vs there have been cleared up now. And Sexy is building two arms there. This is floating 5k. <clears throat> uh, he's got a fourth supply back over here, but he is going to lose his uh, third supply, it looks like, anyway. Boyka can make in a command center. He's probably going to be three-star pretty soon. Boyka also going for the middle, it looks like. Pretty evenly uh, matched so far, but Sexy is taking a beating. But Sexy's got the economy, so he can kind of afford to do it anyway. Uh, more garrisons being cleared out by the... Uh, by the flashbacks. The quads are going to come out, though, and pick off a load of missile defenders once the garrison is popped open. And the V's are going to slowly pick off the supply now. So technicals come in and picked off uh, two V's have gone down there. Uh, more V's are back and this third supply for Boyka is going up. He's already collecting from the center there. I think that's what he was probably doing before, why he built a third Chinook. He was ready to start collecting from the center, which is what he's done now. Uh, more of the middle being cleared out for Sexy. The technicals are going to engage, but if they go one by one against these Vs, they are going to go down. So two technicals go down, but another V has been picked off. Uh, the drone there is going to be scouted by the new tunnel that has been produced. But Boyka is well established on the third supply. Palace is going up on this left side for Sexy and almost, almost complete. The uh, oil is still alive. And another supply is going down for Boyka. So he's going to be on four supplies very, very soon. Needs to sell that one, though, so the Chinook start moving. Could already be mining from this, but I think he's 100% now paying attention on his Vs. Which he quite rightly should be doing. The technicals are going to take some uh, damage. Uh, but it'd be really handy for Boyka if you stop that tunnel from getting up. Because the, just one quad popped out is going to deny him from collecting from here. That needs to be sold. That's annoying me. And the strategy center is being complete now. Uh, sorry, being built now. So the game has slowed down a little bit, but I imagine the next step is going to be one quad is going to be popped out here and deny 
a sexy, sorry, deny Boyke from collecting. And engagement here with these. Going to take out a few of the uh, tunnels and this supply is going to have to be sold off. I would like to see the A10 next on the oil. That's going to be a next, um, the next killing move against Sexy. But Boyker is doing really, really well. He's pushing him back on all fronts. Uh, another V is going to be picked off. Just a little bit unfortunate that palace is completely full. It would have been nice if he just evac all of his missile defenders and engaged that palace. But I think he's got plenty of Vs back at home. He's got 2,600 and about how many Vs? We've got like six Vs. But we got the palace is now established. Uh, it's fully loaded and we've got buggies on the map. But he's still got his oil, but he's going to be mined out on this left supply so uh, very soon. 2,400 for sexy, 275 for Boyka. So Boyka spent every penny. I'd love to see that one sold though. And he's collecting uh, like mad over here. Uh, but he's collecting a little bit close to that garrison now. Boyke has plenty of Vs out now, and it's all kind of how this defense is for Sexy at the moment. Uh, he's got one technical out so far, but I think he's going to pop the rest of his army in a second. The palace is taking heavy, heavy damage. Uh, I think one V has gone down so far, but the palace is taking heavy damage and now actually gone down. The technicals and buggies are actually out of position. They're over here rather than defending the palace. Uh, one Chinook has been picked off because of the garrison. This V needs to be extremely careful. It's a vet 3 1. You don't want to be losing that. Uh, but loads of missile defenders in there, and that's going to push Sexy right back. He's going to lose a couple of units there. The Toxin Tractor is coming in, and it's taking heavy damage, but I think it's going to clear it out just, and that's going to allow Sexy's army a little bit more mobility. But this garrison here is taking heavy damage, but Boyka should be on. I wouldn't say he's on that much cash because. Uh, Actually, there's a quad there, but it's just out of range. Unlucky for Sexy. It's a little bit out of range. The Vs are now coming in. I'm going to catch some of these buggies out of position. That's massive. Uh, two units going down. Uh, the quad is now here to cause some damage to these Chinooks, but Boyka is choosing to go back and kill the Jarman rather than defend his Chinooks. One Chinook has gone down already. The second one is taking heavy damage. You've just tuned in, by the way, it is a best of seven. Boyke's already 1-0 up, as you can see from the scoreboard. This is a reverse on the first map of the armies. So uh, Boyke, if he wins this one, he's going to go 2-0 up. He needs four wins to uh, get through round one. Loads of Vs out for Boyke now. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Vs and an ambulance. Uh, Boyka choosing a different angle to attack from. He's going to attack from this right side instead. Not sure if that's the greatest idea because there are four buggies out now. So by the time his Vs get in range, he's going to take a hell of a lot of damage. Uh, I'd like to see that one sold still. You don't actually get that much money from it. How much money do you get from it? You'll get $400 from it. Oh, that was absolutely a huge mistake there from Sexy. He's just thrown his whole army away just for two Vs. That's GG right there. Massive mistake there from Sexy, just completely walking into Boyka's army. But it looks like uh, Boyka is you playing super solid. And uh, Sexy is just, um, Sexy's level is just not up to scratch at the moment. Boyka takes the lead 2-0. He collected 68k. Sexy collected 63k. Boyka actually destroyed like pretty much double the amount of units, almost double. Um, but yeah, well played to uh, Boyka. So I'm going to update the scoreboard. 2-0 to Boyka. Sexy's going to need to step it up a level if he's going to beat Boyka in this next game. Maybe Sexy's thinking about what kind of matchup he wants to take. Let's see. He's going to go for a GLA mirror now. This will be interesting because uh, Boyka's GLA mirror is also very good. So Let's see what's going to happen. So next matchup, it looks like Sexy's picked Gorge Drought. I think you can pick any map you want. And the matchup is going to be Stealth and Tox and then Reverse. 307 viewers, very nice. Welcome to everybody. Stealth 
Sexy is under a bit of pressure now. He needs to win at least one of these GLA mirrors if he's to stay in the tournament. So he even needs to win this one or the next one. Um, uh, Nemat John says, mindset is essential. Essential, if you ask me. Yeah, I totally agree. <clears throat> and Sexy's under quite a bit of pressure now. So let's see how he can handle the pressure. He has picked GLA mirror, so um. He, Got to think that he thinks he has a good chance in this matchup. Sexy's uh, GLA Merit is pretty tough, but uh, so is Boyka's though. So let's see how this one's going to go. Boyka um, opting for a barracks. I will introduce the players actually first. We've got Boyka in the north with the blue. Toxin General. And in the south, we have Sexy with the GLA Stealth. So yeah, this matchup, you can kind of say that um, in the early to mid game then toxin is very very strong against stealth because you're going to be making loads of scorps that's going to be really really difficult for um stealth to do anything against and um later on then i think that uh stealth becomes more powerful because you've got the stealth tunnels and the um cheaper buggies and obviously stealth buildings as well that like you can stealth your super weapons and stuff like that whereas the toxin can't but it, it, it is um it's still pretty close later on because you can even though you can make buggies the rebel ambush can actually easily take out a load of the buggies so toxin is very very strong in this matchup sexy looks like he's preparing a terror tech you're welcome to shiny raw exe um pretty defensive from sexy and there is a car here actually he's going to kill a load of workers for sexy ouch four workers going down pretty straight away there the boyka's um kind of morale at the moment must be super high he's on a 2-0 uh, lead and was there a car there as well that's hit because that's actually taking a bit of damage maybe i wasn't paying attention yeah i think there was i think i haven't paid attention i think there was Usually I like to pay attention to every detail, but it looks like both of their workers have been killed, maybe. Because the way the detonation has gone there, it looks like the workers have been killed. Another Terra car for uh, Boyka is moving out. Tiny little Terra car. And Sexy is moving out with his Terra tech. I think he's going to hit the supply. Supply is going to go completely down. And Boyka is going to try and defend this with a tech RPG. He's going to succeed. I don't think that technical is going to achieve anything else. And then Boyka is going to try and scrap up one of his... Uh, Tentacles. I would like to see Boyka um, rebuild that second supply. Oh, the supply actually hasn't gone down. That's really unfortunate. I'd like to see Boyka even produce a second, uh, sorry, a third supply. Yo, uh, Lucifer arrives, by the way. Two tentacles for Sexy are going to be chased away. Sexy already on a third supply. Boyka actually placing down his, not that not that far behind. Now, even though Boyka's um, supply was denied a bit, it actually cost Sexy quite a lot to do that. It cost him uh, the tentacle and five terrorists to do that. So what's that? I mean, 1,500 it cost him. Boyka is going to load loads of RPGs inside of the building and he is going to start attacking the enemy oil. So he looks looks like he's playing for the long game. Sexy's oil is going down fairly quick. The uh, rebel was actually here for Sexy. I can't actually click on it to see if the capture upgrade was built or not. But Sexy's oil is taking heavy damage and going to go down it looks like. Sexy in the meantime has got three tentacles roaming around the middle. Um, third supply for Boyka is now up and the tentacles for Sexy are going to find it and probably kill a load of workers I would imagine. Uh, tunnel there is not quite complete. The oil has gone down. I'd like to see him kill the refinery as well. Sexy's going to unload a load of RPGs causing a little bit of self damage there to his own his own tentacle. A load of workers going to go down and that tunnel's going to be finished off and not cancelled either. Um, Bit of a same situation from both of the players here, but Sexy's actually got more quads out to defend. Well, actually, some quads. Boyka's actually got no quads out. Boyka, in the meantime, is getting his own oil and refinery. That is going to boost him so far ahead. 
and Sexy in the meantime has not got his own oil, but he is going for a palace quicker, so uh, Boyka's uh, second war factory is already up, and he's got Scorps out now with the um, rocket upgrade. Three uh, of his tentacles running around. So three tentacles versus three tentacles, but um, if Sexy's tentacles move here, then they are going to go down. Really bad decision there from Sexy. They are all going down. His whole army has just been completely wrecked. I don't know what's wrong with Sexy tonight, but his performance is not looking the greatest. Saying that, he is moving out and attacking this tunnel here. Um, one tunnel has gone down for Boykin now. Sexy's got quite a nice control in the center because he's got two tunnels here, and when you later... Capture these um, artillery platforms, it's super hard to break through. So the five quads are moving out now. I'm going to deny the tunnel for another time. I'm not sure what Boyka's doing there with a the terror attack against um, quads. That was absolutely horrific by Boyka there. He's got scorps out, so then why isn't he just using the scorps? You don't need to terror attack quads because the quads can just get up to their maximum fire rate instantly. So don't want to be trying to terror attack against quads. Unless you may be coming in from the back, but their cannons rotate so quick, you don't really want to be doing that. Loads of Sexy's units are going down now, and the palace is on 93%. Uh, Boyka's palace is also going up. I'd like to see Boyka get a supply there and a supply from the other side as well. Hijacker has taken a Scorp, which is going to hold Boyka back a little bit. I would like to see that Scorp actually pick off some of these here because they are very, very low. Pick off another two Scorps. Sexy's defense is holding up pretty nicely. Um, Sexy actually doing very, very well, all things considered. He doesn't have his refinery, though, even though he's got a rebel there. I'm not quite sure why he's not doing that, because it makes the units 10% cheaper, which can add up in the long game. He's got four Scorps now. One of them is very low. Going to engage the um, quads for Sexy. Two of Sexy's units going down. One of them was the Scorp that actually he, he took him for himself before. Unfortunately for Sexy, loads of his RPGs have been taken out by the Toxin Shells. The remains of them. But the quads are going to get in again. And boyka has got 2,600. So I don't know why he just doesn't place down a tunnel there. This is like the second or third. This is the third time it's happened now. Sexy is capturing the center, so those artillery platforms are going to make it really, really difficult for Boyka. Boyka's lost a load of map control in the middle, which is very unusual, actually, for Tox to be pushed back like this. Sexy's doing pretty, pretty well. But yeah, neither player is building a fourth supply, because you can mine this a lot faster, and if they get you get the money faster, it's better than the money that you save from not building that supply, so... Two black markets already built for Sexy. He's already on workers' shoes as well. Third black market already going up. We've got a bomb truck for him as well. Wonder where the bomb truck's going to be used. I thought I saw a bomb truck. Anyway, unless my uh, eyes are lying to me. But loads of Scorps now moving out for um, Boyka. And it's going to engage the line of tunnels for Sexy. Uh, technical is going to run in. And I don't know where it's going. I think it's got it loaded with a terror attack, But... The amount of times I see these terror techs, ooh, got a bomb truck, very, very nice, loads of scorps going down there. Yeah, but the amount of times I see Boyka's terror techs uh, going down is just unbelievable. I've seen so many of his fail, but he should just really just focus on units rather than doing that. Loads of his units now have been picked off, and that's going to keep Sexy in the game longer, and the longer the game goes on, the better it's going to be for stealth. Plenty of buggies out now, and this is where, because if Boyka goes for buggies as well, then his are more expensive. So if they trade off, then it favors stealth in the long run. I don't think Boyka has got enough damage off uh, to get the Rebel Ambush yet. But he does have the oil and the refinery, though. So that's keeping him in this, keeping him economically ahead. But, I mean, the enemy, Sexy, does have three markets of his own. Sexy's now on his own refinery, so makes his units cheap as well. So the game is going to slow down a little bit now. <clears throat> and 
another two black markets are being built now for Sexy. So Sexy's going to be on five black markets. Seven buggies out now for Sexy. And he is slowly picking off the buildings. One RPG going to cause a little bit of damage to the buggy there, but it's going to force the army back. So Sexy does have full control of this middle, and these artillery platforms provide a massive vision for you as well. Uh, Boyke has prepared a load of buses, though, so I imagine he's going to try and charge through and do it, deal a load of damage with the buses, but... Oh, she's going to try and catch the buggies out of position, but the buggies have already spotted this and going to run away. Buses are now actually going for it. They're actually charging straight through the center. Can pick off these black markets fairly easily. He has evac a load of RPGs. And they are going to be picked off very, very quickly by the Jarman. Two black markets going down, but there are loads of buggies out as well. Uh, in the main base. Palace is dealing big damage to these buses. These buggies are getting awfully close to these buses. <clears throat> there is an angry mob out as well. And load, although a load of buggies have gone down, Boyker actually didn't achieve that much there. He's killed a few buggies and killed two black markets. But I feel that probably still favours Sexy because... Um, his army is better in the, in the long run, I think. Yeah, with these buggies, they're going to pick off buses all day. I don't think Boyk is going to be able to win this one. I think Sexy's going to pull it back slowly to a 2-1. Load of buggies moving out now for Sexy. They are going to engage more of these tunnels. I'd like to see the upgrades from Sexy. I know he's got the ammo upgrade, but I'd like to see... Ooh, Rebel Ambush. Very nice. Very, very nice. All of the buggies gone down there. Excellent for Boyko. Excellent news. Um, and now he's on the third black market. Fourth black market going down as well. And the buses are going to engage here. So actually, Boyko's uh, continued aggression actually is not working out so bad now. I think because he killed them few markets and then few buggies before with the buses, now he's got him to level three, and that's how enabled him to kill all the all the buggies. The buses are taking heavy damage there. One has already gone down to the hall, and Jarman is out now, going to snipe off the other bus. Be nice if that bus escapes because it is on very low HP. You can just go back, repair it, and then engage again at a later time. Jarman is going to come up and clear this out now. Uh, first super weapon of the game is going down of the, the whole tournament actually so far. Not tournament, I mean matchup between these two players. Sexy is building the super weapon. Uh, that one is mined out now. I'd like to see all his workers collect from here. Got two angry mobs now in the center for Sexy. Uh, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do too much because these toxin tunnels are very, very powerful against infantry. Pretty much a one hit, and they're dead. Um, but Sexy is uh, losing his third supply. So uh, although Sexy has more black markets, I think Boyker is still economically ahead because he's got his one oil. He's got some of his own black markets, and he's still collecting from here with um, worker shoes. So uh, Sexy is now manned out in his main supply. Still got... 9k left there, or 9.5k. Boyker is very slowly but surely taking out this supply. We've got some stealth buggies out now. GPS scrambled from Sexy. And these angry mobs are now moving out and actually tearing through these buildings. Uh, Boyka doesn't have any quads out, so they're killing all of uh, Boyka's black markets. They managed to sneak through, kill his, uh, kill his third supply, and actually now force the sale of one market and actually killed the other. So uh, not bad by Sexy at, at all, considering the amount of damage he's taken. He's actually holding in there very, very well. I'm a bit disappointed that Boyka earlier didn't kill that refinery because I believe that makes all the difference. You think 10% off every unit built in the game and you're building like between 100 and 200 units in the, in the game. Each of them are worth the best part of $1,000. It really does add up. Buggies are going to take out this bunker. Uh, buggies for Boyker is going to force Sexy back a little bit. The 
angry mob though getting in and killing both of these buildings that's massive just based on that probably gonna set boyka right right back and i think sexy now has the advantage quads being dropped off for sexy in the in the middle first super weapon is up i imagine that's gonna be stealth pretty quick boyka has beaconed it he's gonna label it number one probably or just beacon it more and more buggies being produced by Sexy. He's only on one arm stealer the whole game. The angry mob now has cleared this out. That's a shame, really, because those two rebels were in there the whole time, it looks like. And yet they didn't engage the uh, angry mob or try to defend it. Don't think he was paying attention. I think he was paying attention elsewhere. Angry mob of Boyker is cleared up by the two quads of Sexy. And they're the free ones, actually, from the reinforcement pad. So, buggy versus buggy battle. Two of Sexy's buggies going down. And the two quads going down as well. It looks like he's got the... Um, uh, the uh, rocket upgrade now as well. So, do 25% extra damage. You saw how fast that quad went down there. Jarman taking out... Oh, that, that rebel ambush was nowhere near as good as the other one. Jarman has gone down. Yeah, sure, but you want to kill all the buggies, though. That's the main thing. Now, that's going to be like on a... Is it a four-minute cooldown? Who knows the uh, cooldown for the rebel ambush? I'd like to know. I think it's four minutes. So I'm not 100% sure. Is it three minutes or four minutes? Where's Jundi? I'm sure Jundi knows. Because he used it around the 16-minute mark. It's interesting to know later on when he's going to be able to use it again. But that good storm is not uh, far off firing. It's going to fire before the rebel ambush either way, I think. It's probably going to be hitting the palace or the arms dealers. Uh, loads of workers being stealthed now for sexy. I don't know if that's the... Uh... Do you really want to stealth all of them and move all of them out? I can understand like three. But you don't want to stealth all of them because he needs to collect from here. Cost him $200 for all of them. Loads of buggies going down here for Sexy and all of his workers are moving out. Booker must see all this being collected and think what the hell's going on. He probably thinks this is Jarman. But Sexy is being pushed right back but he's got loads of buggies of his own. Going to pick off one of uh, Booker's buggies. I don't know if these uh, stealth workers are the right thing to be doing. Because it's not like he has loads of money to throw away. Building a second uh, Skid Storm. And these workers are all going to get in the base. And I don't think Boyk has spotted it unless... Ah, he has spotted him now. So he can just send his radar van now. And uh, just clear it up. But he has built a tunnel in that little gap, so now they shouldn't be able to go in again. The buggy is going to be able to clear all of these up, and Boyker is actually going to clear out these tunnels that have been produced. I think that was a complete waste by Sexy. I can understand if you've got loads of money, but not when you've not got that much money. I don't think he's got that much. He is back on his third supply now, which actually is his only supply now, because the rest are mined out. Sexy's uh, Jarman is picking off some of the angry mob of Boyker. And the Scud Storm has launched, but I don't know where. I just saw the, the reset. Oh, I missed it. Where's the Scud going to launch? Oh, has he reset it with a... Um... He's re He must have reset it with a Saboteur. That must be what's happened. Maybe I missed that. Because I haven't seen the Scud Storm launch. So it has to have been with a Saboteur. Anthrax Bomb is now coming in. A bit ironic from the Stealth Player on top of the uh, Stealth Player stuff. Sorry, uh, Toxin Player stuff. He just has one uh, Scorpion there. We can force fire the ground, but I don't think he's... Yeah, has built Scorp. So he can just force fire the ground now, and that should cancel it out, which he is doing. Bit of an engagement here. Both players losing units. These buggies again for Boyka hanging around a little bit too long. That one's almost definitely going to go down if it hangs around. Just move out of the way now. Uh, 
just hang around a little bit too long, Boyka. And that uh, RPG got $220 for that. Sexy now has a big line of tunnels over here. And the Scud Storm is ready now. I'll tell you honest, I don't know what's going on. Was the, was, the Scud, was the Scud ready to launch before? Not 100%. The Scud Storm has launched here, so uh, very, very nice hit. He has uh, killed a load of markets. Palace is taking heavy damage as well. Rebel Ambush has cleared up a load of units for Sexy there, but the um, tunnels are killing them all and gaining the bounty upgrade. So Sexy's now on 8k, Boyker on 4,400. Yeah, I think I messed up with the Scud. I'm just reading the chat. I think I messed up with the Scud. I think I saw the other one appear on the screen and I immediately thought that it was going to be launched. I don't know what I'm on about. <laughs> Maybe I have had too many beers. I, I'm, I'm three beers in. Usually I can do a bit more than that. Radar van is going to go down. A load of buggy is going to go down as well. But there is a big army in the base of Boykin out. <clears throat> Quads, no, no AP ammo. So they're going to have a hard time against these. But there are buggies here to back it up. And plenty of tunnels here from Sexy. But the uh, Tox Scorps are going to push this back. But Boyker is not on many markets now. He's on like four markets. And I think it's just a matter of time now before Boyker goes down. He is placing them down in Never 2 markets over here. But it's not going to be long before Never 2 Scud launches hit his base. So, um... Yeah, Boyker is slowly but surely dying, I'm afraid. GG is thrown down. Can't win. Too many tunnels in his base. Really well done by Sexy. Um, you have been defeated. Yeah, Tox is very, very hard to beat, and Sexy managed to pull it off, so uh, he pulls it back to Well, boys and girls, we are 1 hour 16 in, and we are at 2-1, so not even really halfway. If this goes to 2-2, two, two, which is looking like it might be if uh, Sexy's Tox is just as strong as before. But yeah, so Sexy's saying about the, the, the bomb truck that actually um, did really well. Yeah, you remember the bomb truck pretty early on, it killed like five or six Scorps, I think. Or heavily damaged up to like five or six, anyway. Do I have bald hair in real life? Nah, I never had a bald head. <laughs> I got plenty of hair, thanks. <laughs> Sorry, Benjamin. Yeah, you're right. Actually, sometimes when you're a YouTuber, you can look at the demographics of your viewers. And my demographics is like 99.8% male between 18 and 25. And there, there is 1% of women. <laughs> there is one demographic of like um, I think I have one viewer that's like over the age of 75 or something so <clears throat> but yeah you're right about uh, the uh, sorry I'll say boys and a girl so prepare for another long game I can't remember how long that matchup was actually yeah it was 21 minutes you can see at the top right of my screen now it's going to reset to zero now so we're back on Gorge Drought. We've got Boyka in the south with GLA Stealth in the purple. And in the north, <clears throat> we've got Sexy, an exact repeat matchup of before. We've got Sexy in the pink as a GLA Toxin. So who is going to win this one? Is it going to be 2-2? Is it going to be 3-1 um, to Boyka? Boyka, you could say, has got the weaker army now because um, the early to mid game Tox is very, very strong. So... Uh, I want to see some score predictions. Whose prediction is 2-2 and whose prediction is 3-1.
Personally, I'm going for 2-2. Two, two. I think Sexy has warmed up a little bit now. And I think with um, with Tox now, I think he will be hard to defeat. Sexy actually looking like he's going for three supplies. That's a little bit risky. But you're actually going for three supplies as well. Very, very interesting. It was only recently in a cast, I think, on Plant Waste when I said how many maps do you see um, both players go three supplies. And uh, I said the only other one you can say is Gorge Drought. And here we are. A few days later, Gorge Drought, both players going three supplies. Two terror cars there, going to greet each other and smash straight into each other. What a life for that terrorist run out of the, the uh, barracks there. Got inside of the uh, car and actually just went head first into another car. So yeah, bit of a poor life there. <clears throat> yeah, actually that's something you don't normally see uh, players do is build the barracks and actually go for them terror cars. There is actually one back here. I think that one you can get inside of it. It takes so long to get there. I think you can get in these, but they're slow. And I don't know about that one. I don't know if you can get in that one or not. <clears throat> so mixed reviews in the chat. I've got two people saying 3-1. And I've got three people saying 2-2. Two, two. Worker is going to run forward for Boyka. Boyka is now preparing a terror attack. And sexy is now fully established on three supplies. Well, actually, both players are established on three supplies. But I think this probably... Who does that favor more? Both players on being on three supplies. Not 100%. I'd like to see the uh, refinery and oil captured pretty quick as well. Sexy is very fast upgrading to second arms dealer. The Terra Tech is now produced for Boyka. And let's see where he is going to go. Is he going to go for the oil? If he goes in for the main base, I don't think he's going to achieve anything. He's going to actually hit the uh, supply dock and actually not succeed. That's both players actually uh, not succeeded in doing that. Sexy's going to be uh, only on two supplies for a little bit, but I think that's probably not worth it for Boyka. Just to deny the supply for a little bit is not worth it, I don't think. Google thinks it's going to be 4-3, but he's not saying who to. It's interesting. Demo Trap has been placed down. Technical is loading up some RPGs. Yo, Lewis uh, Cavolo, thank you very much for your donation, dude. He said it's great to see people still playing this game. Yeah, dude, it is good. Actually, since 2003, we're now in 2019 and people are still playing this game. So it is pretty amazing. But yeah, cheers for your donation. Much appreciated. Technical's going to take some damage. And another technical from Boyka is going to go in. I'm not sure it's going to achieve anything, though, because there's an RPG there along with a Toxin Tunnel and another Scorp as well. So that's taking heavy damage. And gone down, but there's loads of Scorps out now for Sexy. So this this is the moment where uh, Boyk is going to have a hard time defending against this. But he is getting a Palace very fast. Second Arms dealer going down very fast. Refinery and Oil going down very fast as well. Loads of Demo Traps being placed down from Boyka. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, Sexy is going to have a hard time pushing through all that. He's actually making a Palace of his own as well. Tox internal is trying to clear out that, but not succeeding. It looks like some is leaking through, but actually not doing so well. Boyka is trying to capture the uh, Artelu platform, or just one of them. Uh, Black Market is now going down for Boyka very, very fast. At the 4 minutes 40 mark, that is a super, super quick palace. <clears throat> yeah, the score is 2-1. R2 platform is providing a little bit of defense and picking off some of these RPGs, which is very, very nice. Boyke, in the meantime, is picking off the enemy oil and refinery, which is going to slow Sexy down a bit. And Boyke just now has to defend against this uh, this push. So he's got buggies out already. But let's see if he's going to be able to defend it. He needs to get um, worker shoes and the buggy upgrade. They're the first two things that need to be on his mind. He is placing down a load of tunnels. Um, Demo Trap has been detonated, but I'm not sure what it killed, actually. So, Boyka is on four supplies, but he's not on a load of workers there. He's only on two workers, so... 
One quad is going to try and pick off this tunnel that's being put down for Boyka, but Boyka is now on three buggies already. And he's economically ahead because he's killed the enemy oil and refinery, so if Boyka can just hold on, it kind of reminds me of the first game where you can't, he kind of just has to hold on with the buggies, so... Uh, Scorps are going to push in. They use all their rockets on top of the tunnel. And now the Scorps taking heavy, heavy damage. Three Scorps going down for pretty much nothing. I don't think they killed anything. So Boyka is doing really, really well. I'd like to see Worker Shoes anytime now. Because that's going to... Um, as soon as you get Worker Shoes and he gets the buggy upgrade, I can't see any way Sexy can win, to be honest. It's going to be... It's going to be a 3-1. Scud Storm going down for Sexy, but... Not 100% if that's the right thing to be doing. Tend to want to build one market first, get the worker shoes, and then go for other stuff. But he's choosing that he wants to build the, the uh, scud first. That's a bad pop. Don't want to pop there with the buggies behind. Worker shoes still not placed down. This is really disappointing from Boyker. Everything was looking so good. But I'd like to see worker shoes built straight away. One scorp is picked off. And the more and more time that Boyker bu uh, buys himself... Worker shoes and the upgrade are now ready. That's really good. Uh, bus is being produced by Sexy now. Game has slowed down a bit, but the more and more um, buggies that get out for Boyka, the harder of a time Sexy is going to have. Uh, first, Angry Mob is ready, but I don't think the Angry Mob is the right thing to be doing because these Scorps can just take out the Angry Mobs with the Toxin Shells. But it might force him back a little bit. The buses are now out as well, have revealed themselves. Not sure if Boyka is paying attention there. That's quite a uh, important thing. But yeah, there is a Demo Trap there. Let's see him place a few more demo traps down, actually. He's got 3,400. He's got the worker shoes now, so he's on loads and loads of cash. He's got his own oil and refinery. He's on four supplies, even though he's not collecting with loads of workers there. Buggy's taking out a tunnel. And uh, Sexy is under a lot of pressure because if he doesn't win this, he's 3-1 down. And then needs to win every match from that point onwards. I'd like to see Boyka get all the upgrades. So he needs um, the rocket upgrade is the most important thing that I'd like to see. Uh, four black markets going down for Sexy. They are in a nice square though. So if one Scud Storm hits them later on, that might come back to bite him. Another arms dealer going... Sorry, another black market going down for Boyka. And Boyka's continued aggression. Uh, but you see, if he had the rocket upgrade there, those Scorps probably would have both gone down. But because he didn't, that Scorps going to take a, a long time to go down and actually lose one buggy because of that. Angry Mob is going to take out the uh, Artidru platform of Sexy. And the buses have now definitely revealed himself. Another tunnel being placed down for Boyko is creeping forward. He has now cleared out the whole center, so he has very good control in the center. One buggy is going to be picked off. That's one thing about Boykery. He likes to uh, hang around with his buggies a little bit too long. Saying that, actually, he's survived on about 10% HP. I think that's because Vet 1 it has survived a little bit longer. But now it might get picked off. Uh, yeah, it's going to get picked off now. But two Scorps are going to go down. And these buses um, are very dangerous to these uh, buggies. They can kill buggies so, so quick. So you've got to be really, really careful. Sexy actually evacuating his RPGs a little bit quick there. Didn't need to. Because the missiles from the buggies tend to fizzle out as they get closer. Sorry, as the, as the bus runs away, I mean. Tunnel is being picked off. And massive engagement there. But the bus of Boyka, the only one, has gone down. Does he back the most important unit, which is the Jarman Cow? Boyker is now on his fourth black market. 
or to be built anyway. But Boyka's uh, buggy's caught out of position a little tiny bit. Lost a couple of units. The bus has now gone down, not just to the hull, but actually gone down completely. Not sure how many units are inside it exactly. Boyka is on 4,000 and above. Sexy's on about 5,000. There's a tech RPG inside the base of Sexy. Sexy's going to have to go back and defend this. The technical's going to go down. But the uh, black market actually might go down at least to the hull. Might even go down completely. Very nice tech to, uh, tech RPG at this late stage of the game, managing to pick off a black market. Very, very nice. And that provides a big scout. That's m the most important thing, a scout as to what is to come. But Sexy's third supply is going down, and that is actually... Yeah, it's still his third supply, but he's almost mined out back at home. These two buses are going to chase the buggies away again, but this bus is going to hang around a little bit too long and actually go down. Really nice pick off there by uh, Boyka. There's one bus remaining. The bus is going to have to run away. John and is going to get picked off by the angry mob with the AK-47s. Just in kind of engaged at the wrong time. You can sell that supply now. Get an extra 700... 750 back. Is it that how much you get? Or do you get 650? Either way, six, seven hundred dollars. But the amount of buggies out now, what a, such a bad pop there from Sexy. The bus is dead. Popped out of the tunnel and immediate death. Four black markets now for Sexy. You should have Rebel Ambush soon, unless he's already used it and missed it. Yo, Selvizo, you're perfectly welcome, dude. RPG's been picked off by the uh, one quad that is out for Boyka. And imagine the uh, angry mob is going to go down as well. Plenty of buggies out now for Boyka and Sexy's under massive pressure. Another horrendous pop from him. And pretty much, I think I think that was a full pop and that was the only units he had inside of it. So Sexy's under massive pressure. It's hard to get any units on the field. Throws down the GG and Boyka is going to take it to 3-1. So Sexy's under enormous pressure. He needs you to win every defeated. single game from this point on up to 4-3. So he needs to win the next three games in a row. So I'm going to update the scoreboard. 3-1 to Sexy. Well played to Boyka. Yeah, well played, Boyka. <laughs> nice sub tear. Did I get it completely wrong? I think I wasn't paying attention. I, all I saw was something flashed at the top right, and I think it was the new Scud timer. And as soon as I saw that flash, I didn't even bother checking. I just thought that the Scud had launched because I saw it reset, and actually, I think I got it wrong. I think the the, the, the first Scud is still out of three minutes. I was completely lost. I was trying to pay attention to the chat and commentate and watch the game and watch the timer at the same time, and that's what happens. <laughs> Yeah, there is a list of things chosen by the tournament host. All those matchups that you just saw on screen then are the matchups that are allowed. And no, nothing else is allowed. Sexy says no more mercy. That's very interesting. So we're on Homeland Rocks now, V2 or V3. And we've got north um, north of the map. We've got Boyka in the red as China Tank. And in the south, we've got Sexy in the pink. is traditional pink. And he is uh, China Nuke. So Nuke really should be winning this. It's Nuke um, that should be uh, uh, going one up over Tank. And then uh, the, the hard part will be Tank trying to win. Uh, sorry, Sexy trying to win with a Tank against the Nuke. That'll be the hardest. But let's see. Se Sexy seems to think the Tank is the best. I strongly disagree because um, Nuke has ranged uh, units and also the Battlemaster are uh, faster. Yo, uh, Scuba, take it easy in the chat, please. No, uh, no flaming. Two war factories going down for Boyka in the north. And in the south, we've got Sexy going for the exact same. It's going to be a Battlemaster versus Outpost battle, I, I guess. Battlemasters for Sexy. Outpost for Boyka. But yeah, the Battlemasters are faster for Sexy, so generally you can get across the map and start causing economic damage, like start harassing the trucks 
quicker than uh, Tank can get over to him. But an Outpost is also fairly quick as well. So let's see where the uh, where the Outpost is going to get to. Those are going to be taken out for sexy. That's going to leave him on just one dozer. So he's got to be careful with his other one now. Fist Battlemaster is now in the base uh, for Boyker. And it's probably going to get through. And if he starts killing some trucks, that immediately sends uh, sends um, Boyker chasing after them. And immediately sets him kind of economically back. So uh, uh, left side, the... Um, Outpost now has gone down and the battle master is fairly low. But as soon as this kind of situation happens, but actually Boyka's defended it pretty well, but one truck is going down, but immediately that sets um, Boyka back. I mean, look at him now. He's not collecting on either supply. This is why Nuke is more powerful because the tanks are just so much faster. Uh, Propaganda Center is going down now for Sexy and it's looking very, very good for Sexy so far. Three battle masters out now and the mines are up now, but they're a little bit late. I would like to see them a bit earlier. Something that you don't normally see in a China Mirror is that the mines for the tank player in this matchup are actually very, very useful. So one Battlemaster is now trying to uh, get back in the base for Boyka. Um... It's going to get round, but there's going to be one battle master there. It's going to cause a bit of damage or just be chased away. But behind this, the Overlord's going to be out, and that's going to be the hard part. Um, if I was sexy, I'd probably get the, the Lotus first, build a barracks there, and get the uh, get the oil. Also that one there, and then build Overlords after it, when you're economically ahead. Vastal said, could a nuke Overlord take on an Emperor? No, the Emperor Overlord will win. It is more powerful in a one-on-one, head-on-head, uh, head-to-head engagement. But the thing is that the nuke overlord is so much faster though, so you just go around the enemy overlord. The enemy will just be stuck in the middle of the map trying to move around and by the time he gets, by the time he gets to you, you would have already killed his base or you would have already picked off a few units. It's the overlords and the ECMs are just really good at picking off the occasional unit and then engaging just when you want to, when, when the enemy's uh, army is kind of thinned out. But in a one-on-one -on -one engagement, yeah, the overlord will win. The, uh, sorry, the Nuke Overlord. Sorry, the Emperor Overlord will win. I will get there eventually. First Overlord is out. Uh, Sexy's choosing to build the Lotus second. It's got three Battlemasters now. One is vetted up slightly. Big engagement now going to happen. Uh, Boyker has got plenty of Battlemasters out there, but I don't think it's enough to defend against this with the three Battlemasters here. He's got the um, the Propaganda Tower. Oil has actually been captured. Maybe I missed that. And it's just been captured now by the Lotus. There is a Helix being produced by Boyker. He's picking up the uh, RPGs one by one, though. So he's not going to get the Horde bonus. Um, the Dozer has gone to the right-hand side for Sexy. And the Lotus actually is not interested in that right inside the uh, right inside oil. I think he's going to the middle to capture these middle buildings. Or straight to the enemy base. If I was him, I'd get this oil first. That's the most important thing. That's where you want to be going first. But he is getting the repair repair bay instead. First Helix is out now for Boyka. I imagine he's got the bunker upgrade. Um, third supply is going down for him as well. This Helix... It's not going to have an easy time, really, though, because the uh, the gats are in the line. One gat has been picked off, though, which is pretty important. The helix is now coming in, but I don't think it can engage uh, the gats. There is three gats still there, actually, and the um, the battlemasters are going to be chased back, and the helix is going to be chased back as well. Lotus is going to disable one of the damaged um, battlemasters, and the battlemaster is unfortunately going to be picked off. This is why nuke is better. In my head, I'm already thinking that Sexy's going to win this just because the nuke is so 
such a strong army and it's, Sexy's nuke is also very good. It's also not looking the greatest for Boykis so far. His helix has been repelled. His third supply is under attack. Sexy's already on um, Propaganda Center and Lotus out. Boyka is no Propaganda Center in sight. He's gone the Helix route instead. Uh, but the Lotus is going to be picked off, though, it looks like, by the Gats. Yeah, for me, it'll be more interesting when Sexy gets to play tank. That'll be more interesting, but let's see. Maybe I'm writing Boyka off a little bit too soon, but his army is really being thinned out. Loads of Battlemasters going down. There's only four Battlemasters left, one of which is very, very low. Uh, one more going down. Boyka is now running around with his helix. But for me though, Boyka is trying to do two things. He's trying to do the... the um, uh, he's trying to tech up as well as do helixes. You don't really want to be doing both of them so quick. I understand doing one of them and then one of them a lot later. But he's trying to do both at the same time and I don't really like that. You either want to go full helixes or you want to go full propaganda center and loads of ECMs. Because a one-way tank can beat nuke is by just amassing like 12 ECMs and just disable everything. And then fly in with a helix. Sorry, not fly in with a helix. And then go in with the, uh, with the ground army. And then a helix uh, later on. <clears throat> Yo, um, Prokiller and Adam, please man, just... Sh Shut up in the chat. Stop arguing. Next person to argue, I'm going to mute you for the rest of this stream. So just uh, stop it. So we've got an engagement now from Sexy. Actually, uh, in the back, the uh, Helix has actually dropped some missile defenders off. But the missile defenders are going down to the Gats. They are, the Gats are repairing themselves because he does have the repair bay. The Gats here are in the front of the line. But I don't think it really matters. I think that Boyka's base is going down regardless. But yeah, this uh, Helix attack was pretty uh, pretty useless, to be fair. Power is now going down. Artillery has killed the uh, supply. Artillery, sorry, the carpet bomb has come in and killed the uh, war factory. I really can't see a way Boyka's going to win. He's got two Helixes out. S uh, second war factory going back up again. But no oil or anything like that. I'd like to see Boyka go for the oils. Plenty of Battlemasters out, but these Helix is a little bit too close and actually taking heavy damage actually from the Gat from the Overlord. One uh, uh, Helix is going down. Sexy's going to be repelled for a second, but he is on a third supply now. Uh, has got units coming down the left side as well. Lotus is capturing the main base of Boyka and he's probably going to get it. Yeah, Boyka's like, uh, he thought he could try and defend that with his helix, but unfortunately not. Yeah, I did miss that helix before, whatever it killed, but... Um, Either way, I don't think it's going to make much difference. I think Sexy still won this fairly easy. Quick is going in line formation into the uh, Overlords, but the Gats are here as well to take out the Helix, and I think that's only a minute away from GG. Boyka doesn't even have a command center. He's actually rebuilding his command center, but he has no units on the field now apart from whatever was inside that bunker. And Sexy is slowly but surely pulling it back. You have been defeated. Uh, he's brought it back to 3-2. So he's not out of this just yet, but now he has to play the harder matchup, which is uh, he has to play the tank against the uh, nuke. You see how much extra cash Sexy collected just from getting probably, did he get one oil or two oils? I'm not sure. And by the harassment that he caused Boyka early on, uh, makes all the difference. Erdi said he wanted to see the air mirror. I would have liked to have seen that, to be honest. I think that I think an air mirror would be a foregone conclusion win for Sexy because he's really good at it, and I don't think Boyka is that good at it. I don't think he's in the same level as um, Sexy's air mirror. Might be wrong, though. Let's see. 
So we've got an exact repeat of the last matchup. We've got Boyka as the nuke in the red at the south of Homeland Rocks. And in the north, we've got Sexy in the cyan color. Actually changed his color this time. I wonder if uh, he's trying to tell us something. He's changed his color. Maybe he's feeling uh, stronger as a cyan color. Yeah, but he's playing tank in the north of Homeland Rocks. So let's see what Boyka is going to be able to do. Nuke is the stronger army, as I said before, and as we saw before, but can uh, Sexy pull this back? I reckon Sexy's going to be doing a Helix uh, very fast. I think that's how he's going to try and uh, counter the early Battle Masters. Let's see what uh, Sexy can do. Is he going to place down an airfield first or a War Factory first? He's going to place down a War Factory. And it's going to be a barracks or a war factory. Helix, he is going for a helix. So he's probably going to build a barracks with the second dozer, the one over there. But meanwhile, Boyka is going for two arms dealers. So this is going to be um, a very, very interesting. Is Boyka going to mix some um, gas in with his army or is he just going to make battle masters? Because if he just makes battle masters, the helix is going to have a field day clearing it all. <clears throat> <laughs> Cheers, Martin. Cheers for your uh, comment. I've got um, an expensive mic now, so it makes my voice sound better than it actually is. <laughs> so we've got first unit out for Boyke. He is charging straight down the center with a Battlemaster. And a Battlemaster down the left-hand side. Another Battlemaster. So this is not looking good for um, uh, Boyke Helix-wise. But if Boyka scouts this nice and early, and it's looking like he is going to, then he should mix in some some gas with the with the next few units. But so far, it's all battle masters. And now, as soon as Boyka sees that helix, he should be immediately cancelling what battle masters he's got, and immediately trying to transition into some gas because that's going to make all the difference. Um, this is really well uh, thought out by Sexy going to helix rather than trying to chase the nuke player around. Chases um, ooh, unit building going down there. Was that Sexy's uh? Was that Sexy's Propaganda Center? I'm not 100% sure. But the Battle Masters are going down. Sexy's Dozer going down. I think Sexy was trying to bunker his uh, Dozer in there. Boyka is keeping up the aggression. Uh, propaganda Center is now going down for Sexy. He's only got $75. Helix is a little bit out of position now. And this is not looking good for Sexy at all, actually. Battle Masters taking out the uh, trucks. Uh, I would cancel that. Whoa, that was extremely, extremely close. Oh, his dozer's gone down. It's, uh, Sexy is now dozerless with a helix and one war factory. It's made a, has he made a second helix or not? No, he's not made a second helix. I keep imagining stuff tonight. It's the same old helix, but Boyka is now dozerless. And the propaganda center is out for Sexy now. And if he just makes um, a barracks and a black lotus fairly quickly, he can just go and capture the enemy base. Two battle masters for Sexy are moving out, and Sexy is really on a time limit right now. Because he's dozeless, he's got to keep up this. Um, he's got to keep up this pressure. Yeah, that propaganda center was really, really close to going down before. The helix is here. Um, it's gonna engage the ECM. And actually, I don't know if that's the best engagement for Sexy. The Helix is going down. That's a really, really expensive loss. Sexy is now under so much pressure. I know the Helix has been produced, but the Propaganda Center is already out. Lotus is already out. So this is looking real, real grim for Sexy. It's looking like Boyka might take the series. The two Battle Masters here are a lot stronger than this one Battle Master, so that should go down fairly quickly. ECM is in the mix, though. It's going to disable one of them. And Sexy is going to lose one of the Battle Masters. The other two Battle Masters for him, though, are coming in. Going to cause a little bit of damage to Boyka's army. Battle Masters are streaming across the map. Lotus is now captured for Boyka. And all Boyka needs to do now, really, is just defend. And then he's just, he's just won by default. But Sexy's keeping up the pressure. ECMs are taking heavy damage. One Gat is taking heavy damage, but there are loads of ECMs now out for Boyka. If I was him, I'd just produce loads and loads of ECMs because uh, 
You can just disable the enemy um, the enemy tanks. He's only producing out of one war factory. But even makes in a few tank hunters, really. Overlords are out now as well. This is bad news and Sexy. His uh, overlords are taking heavy, heavy damage. Helix is back in now for Sexy. And there's no gas here. Well, there's one, but it's extremely, extremely low. Those are just going to get picked off for Boyko. He's only got one of those left. This is a very uh, intense game. Both trucks have been picked off there for Boyka. And Sexy's units are continuing to stream across the map. Boyka is getting the oil, but the Helix is right on top. And actually, the Helix is going to take out the uh, the Lotus. Uh, Boyka now on not much cash. He's on $300, but I think he's probably, yeah, he's produced both of the trucks out of there, so he's, that's why he's, uh, he's probably spent a load of his money. Sergeant Muffin says, GG, it's over already. I'm not 100%. Uh, it's looking pretty bad for Sexy, but he does have quite a few battle masters out. And Boyka's micro isn't always perfect, so uh, only takes one good engagement. There is two helixes out now, so... And there's only one gat there, so uh, all Sexy will have to do is just secretly take out the gats and then fly in with Helix, and that could be GG. It's not over just yet, I don't think. But it's not the first time that Boyka has dozer hunted his uh, opponent. He dozer hunted him in the uh, second game, was it? Or the, no, the first game when he was GLA against uh, USA. Julius Caesar says selling the command center is so overrated. I disagree because the extra $1,000 in the beginning is the difference between you being able to make a second war factory. It's the difference between you being able to get a helix out so quick. He would he would be dead already if he kept the command center. Uh, Nuke Cannon is out now for Boyka. And that's going to force Sexy's units away. Well, actually, the tank hunter is doing a pretty good job of that already. Boyka does have the repair bay as well. And another Lotus has been produced and sending. Uh, that has been sent all the way to Sexy's base. Artillery is now out and I imagine the carpet is as well. That's really, really bad news for Sexy. He might be able to stop the carpet with the helixes if he's paying attention. Uh, the carpet is coming through. So if Sexy's paying attention, he should be able to stop it, which he is. He's going to try and stop it. Should manage to take it out and it's going to stop it from killing the supply. The artillery is on the other supply and has taken it out, but the helixes have not managed to stop it. And both supplies have gone down now for Sexy. Sexy is also on zero supplies now, as well as no dozer and only one war factory. He's on three helixes, but one of the helixes is extremely low. I don't know if that was the self inflicted damage that he did, but it's looking very, very bad for uh, Sexy right now. He's now definitely on a time limit, whereas Boyka just kind of has to sit back. You can even drop down a load of bunkers just to be 100% sure. This supply was killed, but has been rebuilt. Two trucks going back over there. Yeah, maybe Boyka dropping down a couple of bunkers wouldn't be such a bad idea. But yeah, it's looking like Boyka is going to win. There are only two gats. Oh, sorry, three gats. The battle masters for sexy taking heavy damage in the new cannon. But there are four helixes out though. So if you can just pick off like one of these gats, he should be able to fly in with the um, with the helixes and take it out. But there are two more gats here actually. They're out of position a little bit. But it looks like uh, Boyk is going to be able to do it. Sexy cannot afford to lose this battle master. Sorry, new cannon has been taken out. Helix is taking heavy damage, so one has been picked off, actually. And Boyka has dropped down some mines. And Boyka just has to hold on at this point. Sexy's under enormous pressure to try and close it out now and win. Sexy's only way of winning would be to um, 
thin out the gats and then flying with the helixes, but I think Boyka knows that. That's why he spread gats everywhere. Boyka doesn't even need to move out. He just needs to wait for his promotions to come off cooldown. I think Boyka does know that Sexy has no dozer. I'm pretty sure. So Sexy is not giving up. He's going to continue trying. He has got plenty of battle masters. He's got four, sorry, eight battle masters in the main base. The helixes are still flying around. Sexy doesn't have many buildings at all. As soon as the carpet and artillery are back out, that might be GG for him. Uh, one guy is going to be picked off, and this is exactly what Sexy needs to be doing. There are still uh, how many gats? Five gats there. Helixes are going to fly in and pick off this gat and ECM. Boyka is struggling to hold on. He's not doing so well. Carpet is coming in now. And that's probably going to kill at least some Battle Masters. The Helixes are going to fly around the back and probably get to the base. But all those Battle Masters, poor, poor things, man. Uh, only one Battle Master surviving that perfect hit from uh, Boyka. Supply is going down. Oh, Boyka. I'd like to see the oil picked off. The uh, Propaganda Center is going to be picked off. Another Gat is out. And then one Helix is going to be picked off. Unless these helixes move out soon, one of them at least is going to be going down. Two are extremely low. I think that's going to be sexy out. He's lost way too much. GG, well played. Boyker is going to go through to the next round. He wins 4-3. That's sexy. Literally just reduced the last three um, to the last three you buildings. So defeated. well played to uh, Boyker. I'm going to update the scoreboard. And I'll just show you the bracket actually as well, uh, if I can show you the bracket. Don't think it's been updated, but I can show you. So the games we just saw, Sexy and Boyka played there. Uh, Fargo and Firelord played the other day. I think Fargo won that. Uh, Firefly and Tasmania, I casted that live yesterday. Um, and Tasmani won, although it was very, very close. 4-3 victory. Uh, Scuba and Peter, I don't think they played yet. I played Ruiz, I won't play uh, Ruin the Resort. SPL and Exile, have they played? I'm not even sure. I think they have played actually, but I'm not, I don't know the result. If anyone wants to let me know the result. Um, Freestyler and Zars, I'm not sure if they played. And Google, did he beat Dense? 4 0, I think. I think that's right. But yeah, well played to Boyka taking that series. Let's. Um, Look at the stats. We've got 53k collected for Boyka, 34k collected for uh, um, Sexy. The units destroyed very, very close. Buildings destroyed actually more for Sexy, surprisingly. Actually, that's very weird, actually, because Boyka definitely killed two at the end with the support power. So that just shows, actually, the support powers mustn't count um, in the buildings destroyed. Maybe they don't count. Not 100%. 